What is up everybody? Welcome to Alt Knot. Obviously we are not in the yarn dungeon today and that is all thanks to every single ghoul that left a comment of my very first spirit haul for the 2022 season. Pretty much everybody said go back and get the Beetlejuice bowl. It doesn't matter that it's a soup bowl. It can totally be used as a coffee mug. And also one of my favorite comments was if you think it's too big for coffee, which I probably won't once I see it in person I doubt I will but if you think it's too big you can always use it as a yarn bowl how did I not think of that okay done and done pulled up the maps to see if there were any other new spirits that have opened in my area and there are two just since yesterday two more spirits in my area has opened so it was just kind of meant to be honestly let's hope that they actually have it because that's gonna be the next thing right I waited too long and now they don't have it either way there's two more that are open and we got to check it out. I have my coffee ready to go. It is actually a pumpkin spice latte today. It just felt like it was too perfect to pass up. I couldn't do it. So we are going to have a little bit of an adventure day today. complete success they had not just one but two of these left so I could choose which one I wanted to get does it look like it's gonna be too big for a coffee mug I'm gonna go with no I should have just picked it up the very first time that I saw it and there is the spoon in there that is the sandworm obviously I'm gonna like unbox this as soon as I get home back to the yarn dungeon but the other spirit is about 30 miles away might as well stop there as well I am so glad that I stopped at this one though because I was able to see the popcorn killer clown light stand I don't really know what you call it and online I just couldn't tell where it lit up like what was the part that actually 
actually lights up? Is it the whole characters? Is it the popcorn? It was just honestly two little lights in front that turned red. So I was kind of expecting the whole thing to light up, but do I still love it? Yes, obviously I still do love it. And I'm thinking it would look perfect on my barista area. Eventually it's gonna turn all into killer clowns. I have two out of the three mugs that they have available this year. I talked to the human that was there and I showed the picture of the third mug and kind of asked like, hey, do you have this in stock? Or like, is this gonna be in stores or online exclusive? They thought that it was gonna be available pretty soon. This area of Killer Clown stuff was pretty empty. So they were expecting a lot more things to come in this week and then next week, there's supposed to be even more stuff. Two weeks from now, yeah, we're gonna be well into September. So things will be fully stocked. As far as what I came here to do, success, the rest of the day is just kind of whatever now. I mean, whatever we find, awesome, but I'm happy right now. I think we're good. My battery died at the second spirit, so I didn't get a lot of footage from there. There wasn't too many things different from the first one anyways, so I just need to remember to bring even more batteries. I thought I was going to be good with two, but apparently not. I did grab a couple of things, however, and let's just start this off right now. I feel like I should have said this a long time ago, but any killer clown from outer space anything, I'm going to be drawn to it and it's going to find its way into the yarn dungeon, especially coffee mugs. Yeah. I'm gonna snag them up. Had to grab this one. Have the black one already. There's this one. These are the only two that I've seen so far in stores. The back just says killer clowns. And the bottom, these ones are like raised a little bit too. Love that. Obviously the nose is like, whoa, in your face. Uh, 22 ounces, I think. I don't know, it's just a, another one of the really, really big mugs that I absolutely love. They did, however, drop another one. I've only seen it online and I just threw it in my cart just to be sure that I remember what this one is. This one looks like it's really, really big. Big, heavy, holds a lot. Do they show the back? Yeah, just says Killer Clowns on the back. But I'm gonna give it a week. If I don't see it in a spirit store, then I'm gonna order it. I'm just not gonna mess around with it. Next, I did grab the pin sets. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do some hats, some beanies. Last year, I got a bunch of these. I did Nightmare on Elm Street, Chucky, Friday the 13th, I think there was another one, It. I snagged all of those and I just made a bunch of beanies on my Addy machine. That way when I went like pumpkin picking or I was outside or went for a jog or something, I had a bunch of different hats that I can choose from. There are two patches and then these two obviously are enamel pins. So that's just gonna go on my jean jacket. I don't really have anything else that I can put it on. I don't know, but that's where I put my other ones at. So I think I'm just gonna keep with it. So at least two hats I'll get from this. Totally worth it. Like I'm gonna do something with them immediately. Cause the thing is last year I bought a bunch of these and it added up really quickly. And so I pretty much spent an entire day just making beanies, which I don't regret in any way, shape or form cause they're fantastic and I love them. But I would like to space it out a little bit this year so I can wear them throughout October and I don't spend one full day out of October making all of these hats. The ice cream truck, that kills me though. Lastly, I got one more mug and this is a Coraline mug. So this is the second one that I saw that they had available at Spirit in the stores and online. Super creepy, other mother. And the back is classic Coraline. It's gonna be perfect because eventually I'm gonna have to change up my barista area to go with the Coraline theme, or maybe I'll do something different. I have a lot of options, honestly. That could just be a whole day of us chit-chatting in and of itself of what my actual coffee area should be for Halloween. Last year it was slasher theme. I kind of just did it the same as my kitchen. But now that I'm getting all these really cool mugs this year, I think I had planned for Nightmare Before Christmas just because I have a ton of those mugs. So I was just gonna set it up, decorate, and I got these cute little sugar cups. I don't know what I'm gonna put in them because I don't like have sugar, but <laughs> something will go in there and I was gonna do Nightmare Before Christmas, but these are really cool and I don't want to put them away now, so maybe. And then I got the Beetlejuice bug too. Let's just show that again. Actually, let's open it. Why am I not even opening it? Yes. It doesn't feel like it's gonna be much heavier than these two because these are heavy. Okay, let's grab the spoon. That didn't sound good. Please don't be broken. It's like stuck. All right, taking this off first. There we go. And 
The mug obviously needed to come out first. Okay, yeah, this says that it's a soup mug. Okay. I'm never even gonna think twice about this again. They're like basically the same size. Obviously this is a little bit bigger, but the bottom has the head to the sandworm and the handle there. The inside is just all purple. Love it. Can I get the spoon out safely without breaking it this time? It is really stuck in there. I appreciate that because I don't want it going anywhere, but I mean, now I want to use it. This is freaking awesome. Yeah, I'm not putting this away. This is gonna be out. It's gonna be my latte mug, yes. I like to use coconut milk, a combination, there's a lot of things. Almond milk, coconut milk, plus my regular coffee, a little bit of espresso, mix it all up, yes. This is officially the latte mug. Again, huge thank you to everyone that commented and said, just go back. Seriously, don't leave it there just because it says it's supposed to be used for soup. Another spirit just opened up about 15 minutes away from me. So I grabbed my coffee, got in the car, figured I'd check it out. I didn't even pull out my camera because you and I have basically seen everything that was in this particular spirit. When you go through the checkout line, it's basically like a wall that you're walking through just full of earrings, bracelets, shot glasses, glow in the dark type of items. And normally I don't look too closely at these items because there isn't anything that I have my mind set on, but huge exception this year because I was looking for killer clown things and right at the end, I found a box of killer clown grab bag or gift bag, mystery bag, whatever you wanna call it. And I haven't found this at any other spirit. And at this moment, it is totally sold out online. I don't know if they're gonna get them back. I hope they do. Super excited that they have them. I grabbed everything that they had left in the box. It was already like super picked over. So I don't know what we're gonna get, but I'm, I'm excited either way. There are a couple different lines of this. This one is a bag clip, but there is like a Nightmare Before Christmas one, a Beetlejuice one. These are bag clips. There are other options out there. There was a Nightmare Before Christmas one that I saw. There was like a Freddy and Jason, so maybe like a slasher theme. I'm not entirely sure to be totally honest. I just saw Killer Clown's box, grabbed the box, and that was it. I didn't look too much more into them. If you go online, you can see some of the other options that they have. Available. Available. Just remember that it's literally on your way out of Spirit Halloween. Make sure you look there. And it was like hidden underneath things as well. It wasn't very prominent in any way, shape, or form. And these ones were the only ones left, which I got. One, two, three, four, five. On the back. It's a bag clip. I am planning on putting this on my project bags. If they work for stitch markers, I'm going to do that as well. Otherwise, they're just going to decorate all of my project totes. So here we have it, Killer Clowns. And these are all of the figures that you could potentially get in here. One of these comes in every single bag. And then this is the option of every single thing in here. Plus these one, I'm not sure why they put like a question mark on it. Because if you've seen the movie, you know exactly like what that is. If you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to spoil it for you and tell you what it is. So we'll just let you figure it out. There is a really strong piece of cardboard in here. I mean, you can kind of tell like this one is narrow. So I'm thinking it's gonna be one of the, either like the baseball bat or the cotton candy ray gun there, something like that. But honestly, the cardboard covers up pretty well. And this one is like pretty thick. So I'm assuming it's gonna be one of the clowns. I didn't spend too much time feeling around on them. I knew I wanted all of these in the bag back in the yarn dungeon. If there's one that you want in particular or you've already been doing this with like the other lines, I mean, some of them you might be able to see. Okay, let's see how accurate it is. What, let's start with this one, like I said. Wait, no, that wasn't the one. Is it this one? Maybe it's this one. This one, okay, I think this is the one I had. So I'm gonna guess that this is the bat because it's really narrow right there. All of that is just cardboard. I feel like a little handle of some sort. That's my final guess. It's a bat. Shorty's Club. There we go. Does it have a place to open it or you just have to open? Scissors. There we go. I think I'm right. 
Okay, one out of five so far. Guess the correct one. Honestly, I impressed myself right there. That is a little bit hard, so I guess I would probably get annoyed with having to pull that on and off. Tote bag, it's gonna go on my project bags then. Feel like I need to make a new project bag just for these. I have some of the like UV reactive yarn. That could be really cool. Make it like a patchwork bag because that's what I need is another project. Next one, I'm gonna guess the popcorn gun. It doesn't feel like a clown. Okay, yeah, popcorn gun, that's what I'm going with. Oh my gosh, two for two. Okay, maybe they are not as hard to guess as I just said that they were. Ah, this is so cool. I love this so much. Oh my gosh, again, get out of here, tag. There we go. And I do have Killer Clown patches. Oh, this could be a whole ordeal and I feel like it might have to happen. Two out of five, I am on a roll. Okay, can we go for three out of five? Ooh, this one might be a double. It feels like the popcorn gun again. Okay, I'm gonna be extremely happy if it's the cotton candy gun, but I feel like it's the popcorn gun. So I might have a double here. Yep, I was correct. It is a double. Not mad. Two popcorn guns. This has to be one of the clowns. It feels like really large on the bottom here. I'm just gonna say it's one of the clowns. That's where I'm gonna stop with. Yes! Look at that! So I didn't get the cotton candy ray yet, but at least I got the clown that has it in their hand. Oh my gosh, this is so fantastic. The colors are ridiculous on this too. Super incredibly vibrant. And they're not as heavy as I was thinking either. Ooh, those teeth are scary. I did not even look at that too closely, but those are intense teeth. One left. One, two, three, yes. This one feels really big. It has to be one of the clowns. They're all just so very similar in shape and size that this is really hard to guess. Ooh, yes, the one with the pie. And again, nice creepy smile, ready to go. Let's see on the back. Super creepy ruffles all around. Honestly, what more could you want in a clown, right? I'm kind of happy that they only had five because I feel like I would have ended up with a lot of doubles. I did pretty good though. Only two that doubled up? Not too bad for not even be able to choose them either. It was just whatever was left. Who doesn't like a good mystery with the potential for a super creepy keychain? I mean, obviously I do. I'm gonna make a project bag though. It is, it's gonna happen. These can't just sit here. All four of these, yes. I stopped at my P.O. box on the way home and I had this waiting for me. If you know furls, you already know without like me showing you the side of this. This is a furls gift box. It has this gorgeous ribbon that goes around the top, on the bottom. It came with an amazing note from Rock and Roll Crochet Grandma. Huge shout out thank you to Rock and Roll Crochet Grandma. Let's see, oh my gosh, look at that. We have three Polaris hooks and two Pride hooks, all of which are sizes of hooks that I use every single day. Seriously, thank you so very much, Crochet Rock and Roll Grandma. I love to leave these in the box too as display because this is like a velvet texture. It's so pretty and the hooks are safe. I mean, they're not going anywhere, they're not moving. This is one of the safest places to have Furl's crochet hooks when you're storing them. Thank you so much again, I absolutely love these. And the letter is gonna go into my office. I have a giant cork board that I put all of the letters that I get from Ghouls, keep them up there. I have some fun little Nightmare on Elm Street and Jason tacks that I use to post them all up. Lastly, I had this book waiting for me. This is from Kat and it's an entire book all about coffee. It's like the techniques of the ground, how to make a better cup of coffee. There, there are recipes in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, cafe latte. I think there are some like food recipes too, as much as I love coffee. Let's put it in everything, right? Oh, well, look at that. 
Walnut pie with coffee in it? A caffeinated dessert? Yes! There also is an adorable pumpkin stitch marker that has a really, really cool lobster clasp on it. And the top hat, I love the whole combo. Thank you so very much, Kat, for this. I'm definitely gonna sit down and read a little bit through this. I was gonna get ready for bed, but honestly, I think I have to brew up some more coffee now. Like, I can't read this without having coffee as I'm reading about coffee. Yeah, it just makes sense. All right, ghouls, that was an intense couple of days of home decor shopping at Spirit Halloween. Like, just Spirit Halloween. And it's only gonna keep on going up from here. We're just coming right up to September. Wait for it every single year. It's arrived, all of the stuff is coming out. I couldn't be happier. So if you love doing this type of stuff with me, hanging out with me, checking out all the spooky decor, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below what you think I should use the killer clown keychains. What should I use these for? Or should I just start making a project bag? Just like roll with that idea. But otherwise, have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.